Here it goes. Number one, guys. You know what that is? I'll show you what that is. That's a missile mini swim jig. And of course, I have a grunge color Berkeley Powerbait Chigger Crawl on the back. Um, nice first fish. I'm going to call it almost three pounds. We'll call it high twos, maybe three pounds. Nice first fish. Okay, let me let this go, and I'm going to tell you more about this jig. All right, I want to talk to you a little bit about this jig. It's a special jig. It's the brand new Missile Jigs Mini Swim Jig. And the first thing you're going to notice, you hear the word mini in the name. Just like the mini flip, this is the mini swim. And if you look at it, it's a swim jig but it's small, it's compact, right? Um, smaller skirt, thinner skirt, shorter hook, smaller trailer. Um, sometimes they want a smaller swim jig. You gotta match the hatch, generally tougher conditions, or when your bluegill are smaller, you want a smaller swim jig. Um, I've paired that, if you look on the back, I like a swim bait, swim jig trailer, when I wanna keep the swim jig deeper, and I like a crawl when I want to keep the swim jig higher. Today, these fish are moving up. Uh, we're going to be fishing one to three foot. So chigger crawl, that's the baby chigger crawl, three inch in a color called grunge. All right, now I want to show you something else real critical. And it is my line combo. And for a swim jig, I love braid to a short fluorocarbon leader. I'm using 40 or 50 pound braid. This is Berkley Trilene X9 green. And then I put a short 10 to 12 inch, 17 or 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm a big believer that fluorocarbon helps give this swim jig a little bit better action, right? You got the crawls in the back. Also on that missile mini swim, look at those big eyes. Look at that flat head. That flat head's gonna make it rock a little bit. So, great jig, pre-spawn bass, moving up the spawn, bluegill colored middle, uh, missile mini swim. Come on, let's go. can see behind me here we're fishing around lily pads man that's hard to beat and when they're around that shallow cover especially vegetation lily pads look at that thing y'all missile mini swim with the three inch grunge colored chigger crawl quarter ounce ready there she goes and there she goes all of five uh, we're gonna call her five and a half pounds. Doesn't get any better than that. Man, gonna keep fishing back here, see if we can get another big one for you. And then we might switch baits, might go to a spinner bait, might go to a big swim bait. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna let that bait go. All right, guys, beautiful, beautiful day out here on the home pond. We're in the tiny boat today. Feels nice to change gears a little bit, fish some of my roots as a fisherman shallow water uh south jersey lakes um we're catching them on that missile mini swim jig that little berkeley chicken crawl in the back uh talk to you about the line I want to talk to you a little bit about the rod and reel real quick this of course is an abu garcia ike series rod 
But I wanna show you that if you can see it right there. This is a special rod that I designed for swim jig fishing, frog fishing, and also like boot tail, smaller swim bait style fishing. And this is the 7.4 medium heavy power rod. Man, this is the perfect rod. It's about a 70-30 rod, 70% backbone, 30% tip. That's real important in this style of fishing. Last but not least, reel. Man, when you're fishing a swim jig, use a faster gear ratio reel. A lot of the bites hit it, that last one, that five pounder, hit it and it came right at me and I had to pick up the slack. So this is a eight zero to one Abu Garcia Revo Ike, perfect complement to this setup. All right, everybody, talk to you a little bit about some modifications you can make on the Missile Mini Swim to make it a little bit more effective. The, the vegetation we're fishing today, if you look at them, scattered pads, not very thick. Uh, so when you have more sparse cover, you can thin this thing out just a little bit. So it's already a compact skirt. So here's the two things I do with it. Um, first thing I do is I get the skirt, I'll pull it down between my fingers and I just wanna check the length. A lot of times there'll be sort of an uneven area. I'll just cut a little bit of that back, keep it compact. The next thing I do is I'll cut a little bit of the thickness out. So I'll spread the guard apart I'll take my fingers and I'll grab about 20 to 30% of the fiber guard between my thumb and my index finger. I'll take my scissors, I'll cut it about three quarters of the way down, and that'll soften up that guard just a little bit. So a couple modifications you can make for more open water sparse cover, hopefully help you catch a few more fish.